The Baywatch show is part of one of the largest LGBTQ plus media companies in America, and Hotspots Magazine has been documenting the LGBTQ plus experience for 40 years. Happening Out Television Network has been bringing you daily LGBTQ plus news, talk shows, and more for four years. In the same model of PBS and NPR, we're a nonprofit 501c3 organization whose mission is to educate and serve the LGBTQ plus community. So next at the Faye What Show, we need to help my gay boys. Yes, I'm so happy that you're here for this Yay. one, all right? So in our segment called Dear Faye, I provide my expert lesbian knowledge <laughs> and my vast experience as a living, breathing gay boy that has a vagina to help my fellow gay boys, all right? Yes. All right, so this week, Sobe Samuel sent me an email, okay? Mm -hmm. He says, Hi, Faye what and hot boy in bed. How did he know you were in bed? I don't know. How did he know I was a hot boy? See, hello. I'm in my early 30s and living in Miami Beach. It's already April and hot gay summer is approaching like a speeding train, but I don't feel like my body is anywhere close to where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Hot gay summer for me means going to the various beach and pool parties, outdoor concerts, gay days, one magical weekend, Stonewall Pride, and then traveling to P-Town and Fire Island. All my friends have bodies that are close to perfection, and I don't want to stand out or be judged by them. My whole summer depends upon looking a certain way. It's been a stressful time with work, and it's been hard to get back on a regular workout schedule after the pandemic. Pandemic was like four years ago. I'm starting <laughs> to panic. What should I do? Sobe Samuel, what do you think? Uh, get the fuck out of Miami. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> like you did. He just I moved did. from Miami I recently. Did. And like I look, I, this is this is a, a, a huge problem. And, I, and so this is facts. This, this, these this, are facts. These are facts. This and, happens and, to gay boys. And, and it even happens to bears. And and it's it's a weird thing. I I've luckily have been able to move past it. I know people who don't. Honey, but you move past it because you look like that. That no, is kind of like no, some bullshit. No, it's look, hard being this hot. Look, I, I'm, I'm yes! a, <laughs> look, I am. I used Woo! to be stacked. I used Woo! to be stacked. Right. Like. I had muscles and stuff. And like, look, I have a belly now. I got titties now. I'm okay with it. I'm still uh, worried, right? I still like, I wish I had my abs back. I wish I had my my chest back. But mm -hmm. I'm in a place where like, if you don't like me for me, boo, bye. It like, doesn't stop you from doing things. No, nah, man. Like I, like I, I stopped hanging out with people who only saw me for my body instead of my brain. It's okay if you saw me for my cack, but <laughs> but it had to be a mix, right? Like you can't be just after me just for the body. And I think when you travel in these cliques and you go to P-Town and you go to San Francisco and you go to uh, Palm Springs and you go to, it, it's the same shit over and over again. Mm -hmm. And you have to get yourself out of it. Get yourself out of the city that bothers you in that regard mm -hmm. or fucking get to work and get your body right. Because it's you, you can't have it both ways. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're not motivated enough to go get those abs that you want, then get your mind right. So it's a f mental and physical kind of exercise that you have to do. I refuse to go back to the gym and hit it hard again. <laughs> so, so I had no choice and just say, yeah, I got to get my mind right. Mm. So I'm comfortable as I am. I have love handles. I'm 260 pounds. I am beefy. You sexy as um, fuck. Thank um, you, baby. And I'm not the only one who thinks that, bro. But, so. I, but, but, but if I became popular because I had a really good body, you know, good according to the uh -huh. community. But I was done with that. I was so done with having to do it for them. I wanted to do and it for me. And that's the thing, exactly, right? If you're doing it for other people, then you're then you're already fucking up big time, all right? So listen, yeah. Sobe Samuel, grinding in a sea of perfect sweaty torsos on a hot summer night <laughs> is a gay image as old as time, right? Yep. However, it's also one that can require a lot of fucking work, stress, and pressure that we put on ourselves to meet certain standards and expectation. Here's the thing about this unspoken rule that you have to be ripped and hot to fit in with a certain group. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone trying to meet those standards feels exactly the way you fucking do. Yep. My gay boys constantly share with me that they feel insecure, less than, and not good enough because of the way they look. Because they are still allowing themselves to be ruled by outdated thoughts of perfection that have followed gay men since the fucking dawn of time. Mm -hmm. The standard is an illusion. It's not real. There is no actual expectation written somewhere in the gay fucking Bible. It's up to each and every one of us to define and create a sense of self-worth and acceptance for ourselves and not give in to this culture. Unfortunately, those ripped bodies, what you see a lot today representing the gay culture, without knowing too many details about your personal life, I wonder if finding some other friends outside this particular friend group, right, who are connecting on things other than fucking hookups yep. or validation or being attractive might be a healthier way for you to go. Not all gay men hold themselves to these standards. And if the whole summer depends on how you look, 
bro, you might want to talk to a therapist too. <laughs> Kudos, you know, mama. Kudos, right? Mama. Because it's Kudos, the truth. Kudos, mama, for spilling. <laughs> <laughs> he was just looking. Kudos, mama. That. <laughs> no, and you know what? Like, let me see your body. You probably already stacked. You're just in your head. Yes. Like, you probably already look good. Well, and you know, gay boys have that thing, that dysphoria shit, that you look in the mirror yeah. and you don't see how good you really are yeah. because your mind is so warped by what you think perfection is. Yeah, body dysmorphia eso. is, is eso, real. Eso, 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 eso. Ma, kudos, mama, kudos. Thank Chris you. Spiller. All right. Do you need good advice <laughs> from this lesbian or from a gay boy? Send me an email to faywhat 1 at gmail.com and maybe we will make your email uh, part of our segment and help others in our community as well. Mm. All right? All right.